majority of what we do here is focused on drug discovery. We use computers and we use computational tools to understand biology in a way that's going to help us deliver medicines to patients better. But if you want to get things done, so much of that comes down to trust. Either trusting somebody else to do a particular thing, one of your teammates, or having people trust you to get it done. We get a lot of autonomy here with the right level of support where it's needed. We are together as a team. We have a good dynamic and there's a great energy there. And also, we try to promote and encourage an environment where everybody's voice counts. I tend to stick to a relatively strict nine to five, which gives me a lot of time outside of work. So one thing I really enjoy doing is uh, science comedy shows. For me, my job is kind of like solving puzzles and I like using my mathematical skills to do it. I mean, I call them puzzles, but you know, at work you obviously can't call them puzzles, but they kind of are. It's very much a team-based thing. You have to think of the whole company as a big machine that ultimately has the goal to improve patient lives. So I work very closely with people in the labs who actually run the experiments. And I work very closely with statisticians, very valuable people, statisticians. You always want to have a statistician around. I am a statistician. Uh, and my job is to ensure that whenever a decision is made using data, we make that decision to the best of our ability. Really, what QB does is we help develop these methodologies to be able to get to the answer quicker, more effectively, and with more confidence. The thing I like most about our community, though, is simply the way in which people do offer help to each other. It's not a department where you have that rock star, that one person, the genius that alone makes a breakthrough. It just doesn't work that way. It's a cast of thousands and it's a team sport. So many different moving parts that are all important. Wherever we are, Sweden, UK or the US, we all work towards the same target. What does that mean in practice? Well, if you get stuck with something, you don't hit your head against the wall over and over and over again. What you rather do is that you find the person that can find you the right insights. Quantitative biology is whenever you get to convert an experiment into numbers and you want to analyze those numbers. That's where we come in. As someone who of course likes detective work, that's very exciting to me. You do get that mystery and that complexity of finding what's the driving force in this data. What's the driving force in this disease? And then you hopefully find the key suspects in the whole detective mystery. That's really what we do in academia. But here the difference is that there's a focus. So we're not doing it for the sake of just curiosity. This is really to say, okay, well in the end, if we do this, the reason why we're doing this is because we want to develop new medicines for patients. And we want to get them the right medicines in time for it to have an impact. My approach when I build my team is to look at key competencies. Things that I look for that are important for this particular team. I look for people that are better than me in each of these little areas. So that when everybody joins, they each bring in something new and increase the team's overall competency. I look for people who play nicely with one another, who learn from one another, and therefore amplify and lift everybody's contribution. That's an ambitious task, but I think it's worth the effort. It's critical that we create a computational department that has enough of scientific diversity in it to be able to adapt to the problems that will face us in years to come. Things will change in the future, technologies will change, and how we do our science will definitely change. We're the QB team, and we're proud to be a part of AstraZeneca.